Hey everyone, it's Calabunga. Oh my gosh, it's literally been forever. Y'all, happy new year. Y'all, we are in 2024 right now. Crazy. I've got some life updates that I want to share with you. What is that? Oh my gosh, I'm engaged. What is that? I'm changing the audio because I'm not sure. This is my first time using these. I've had these for a while. I just haven't used them because I'm like, I just don't know how well it was gonna work. But now it is the new year. I'm ready for some change. And this is one of them. So I gotta actually start using this because that's the whole reason why I bought these. So yeah, hopefully the quality is good. Actually, I did not like how it sounded when it went back to the other sound. Let's get into life updates. I'm engaged. I kind of just want to talk about that. And then also, you know how every year people will do New Year's resolutions? I'm pretty sure some of you have some New Year's resolutions that you've jotted down. On me, I'm not a big fan of that because I'll do it like the first two days and then after that, it's like New Year's resolution, what's that? I've tried to do goals, which is like another version of a New Year's resolution, I guess, maybe. Another version of the New Year's resolution and the New Year goals is the 2024 ins and outs that have been going around social media. Actually, I don't know any other platform. I haven't seen it on any other platform. I've only seen the 2024 ins and outs on TikTok. They started with their ins first and they're like, this is your in, this is my in, this is what we're keeping and thrive on in 2024. And then there were the things that they were like, these are out. I'm not going into 2024 with these. And I thought, hmm, I wanna make that list so that I can see what I literally need to just change going into 2024. That'll be towards the end of the video. Let's get into life updates. So I met a guy, his name is Bo. Yes, Bo is his name. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. I met him last year. We got to talking, we got to dating. Well, courting, dating. And then next thing you know it, I'm engaged. I did not expect, okay, I did kind of expect it because like we talked about it. We we're like, our goal is marriage. When we first started talking, we said that if we were gonna start a relationship, it wasn't gonna be just for fun. We talked to each other and we told each other what our standards were or are and what our life goals are and both of us marriage was at the top well at least for me it was we both told each other that we weren't gonna get into a relationship if it wasn't gonna lead towards marriage so yeah we start dating he was my boyfriend and i was his girlfriend now get this we are long distance okay it's so funny because people are like long distance relationships don't work but in my eyes, I've always seen it as if both sides are in it, like completely in it and actually want to be together and like pursue the relationship, a long distance relationship can work. There are things in my life that I was like, I can do long distance. I want to do long distance with this guy and I would only want to do long distance with this guy only. So. Yes, I met a guy. He is literally the guy that I've been praying for, and even more. You know how people, especially your family and your parents, for me at least, they told me, make sure you are praying for your future husband, or for if you're a guy, pray for your future wife. I always thought, mm, especially where I live, I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna find any guy. <laughs> not one that is gonna match my standards because I have really high standards which is really good because you, you shouldn't settle for less so i've been praying for my future husband and just all these different things that that you would want to have in a future husband i wanted to be in this relationship with Bo because everything that i was praying for in a man was lining up with him 
I knew that wasn't just by coincidence. That was God. All I can say is it really is important to pray for your future husband, for your future wife, because honestly, I did have a little doubt there. I just didn't think that I was going to find the one until I met Bo and it really did come easy. It's still so amazing and surprising, even though I have a ring on my finger, literally like a dream that is coming true and I'm living it. When you know, you know, Bo is my fiance. I'm saying that Bo is my fiance. <laughs> All I can say is that God brought us together and it wasn't by accident. God knows your heart. He knows everything deep down. Even the things that I don't really say, but he knows. He sent me Bo. I keep saying it, but he is literally the man I've been praying for <laughs> to be my future husband. <laughs> he is my fiance and I am his fiance and we are gonna get married. I just can't wait. My dream is to, well, obviously be married first, then start a family and be able to just live that life. That's who I am. And that's the dream that I've always wanted. It's happening. My mind is like, it's happening. Now, quickly going into my list of 2024 ins and outs, I have a lot, like literally look at that. So. My 2024 ends are having a morning and night routine. Lately, I've gotten pretty bad at having a routine. So that is an in that I'm going to try and implement into 2024. The next one is daily skincare. Yeah, I haven't been really good with the skincare either. Eat healthier. I'm not just saying eat healthier because everyone is like, oh, I want to eat healthy. What I mean by eat healthier is like just watching more of my portions. Watch what I eat. I want to actually eat food that's being made, not just fast food all the time not just junk food all the time i want to actually eat food that is good for you steak drink lots of water i know i put it at the end of my videos all the time where i'm like and remember to drink water especially here in arizona because it's hot well um yeah i haven't been really good with that i've definitely been slacking so like i need to drink lots of water this year next is taking care of my nails. I play guitar and I just basically cut them and I keep them short because I have to play guitar and if I have long nails I won't be able to play it nicely. Next on the list is work out. <laughs> I know a lot of people are putting workouts on their 2024 goals probably. Mine I definitely have to put it in my 2024 ends because I have a wedding coming up and I gotta work out. Okay, I gotta look good on my wedding day. I wanna make sure I look good in my wedding dress. Uh, next on my list is read your Bible more and spend more time with God. Next on my list is journal more. What I mean by journal more is like, because um, I have a fiance now, he bought me a journal and, and I take Polaroids. So he's like, here's a journal, take lots of pictures and put it in here, right? And just journal our adventures. I guess in a way it's also kind of like scrapbooking. Play more guitar. Next on my list is hiking because I love the outdoors. Now moving on to the outs. First is not enough sleep. We are gonna throw that out. Throwing out overthinking because I am very much so an overthinker. I overthink everything even if it's something small. So we're gonna throw that out as best as we can. Next is impulse buying. Oh my goodness. When I see something I like and if it's in a good price range, I'm like, mm, I'm getting it. So we are going to stop that. Next on the list is being lazy. Next on the list, holding back. What's holding you back, you know? And a lot of the times, fear. Fear is holding you back. Next is rushing life. I have to remind myself just slow down. Live in the moment right now. Live day by day because I want to be able to look back on life and be like, yep, I lived in the moment. <laughs> Next on the list is being fearful of big moves. We're going to throw that out. Next on the list is being late. I'm going to throw that out. I'm late everywhere I go. Yeah, that's a really bad habit. <laughs> Next on the list is being insecure. Lastly, but definitely not least out of 
everything here is scaling my weight every day. I got into the bad habit of scaling my weight every day. Most of the video was about my 2024 ins and outs. Really hope you enjoyed this video. It's my first video back after a long time. It's my first video in this new year. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Remember drink water because I'm reminding myself right now to drink water. Bye.